uncontrollable sobbing, sappy romance movies, and ice cream for breakfast? What happened on your date with John? <laughs> so we're taking the bus. Do you know where we're... Hi, Pini. First day? That obvious, huh? Um, I'm looking for room 129, Earth Science with Mr. Baker. Oh, you've got Mr. Baker, me too. We'll just take you there. Sorry, I'm Clarissa, by the way. Nice to meet you, I'm Jade. Are you going to Harvard? Nice. Oh, no. I've got, like... All the Ivy League's offering me scholarships, just quite haven't picked one yet. Okay. Who is that? That is Evan Miller. You mean a modern day Greek god? Wow. Yeah, he tends to have that effect. <clears throat> First day is always the hardest, but you'll do fine. Here you go. <sighs> Clarissa, hey! Hey, Jade, I didn't know you worked here. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm handling some business right now. I'll be right back, babe. It's my dad. Makes sense. You're dating him? I try not to make it a big deal, okay? We're low key. His dad doesn't really let him date, so it's a secret. That is so cute. You gotta fill me in later. Uh huh. I'll be right back to take your orders. <laughs> hey. I I'm so glad that you came. I'm sorry of about course. this. Of course. But uh, I got you a gift, and it's a personalized bracelet. I thought you'd like it. Oh my god, this is amazing. Yeah. Seriously? It's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Take this. Sure. Okay, bye. Hi. Okay, bye. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that, but the only reason I had to step out is because uh, I have this gift for you. <gasps> Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. But you have to believe me. I mean, I I, I was doing my best. I I here. Have a seat. Okay. <laughs> no, but I was calling you for hours. We were supposed to go to the Save the Whales event. I know, Hazel, and and I'm sorry. I know I stood you up, but it's not what you think. I was out getting you something. And no animals were harmed in the making of that bracelet. I made sure. Babe, this is beautiful. Thank you. You deserve it. I'm gonna order us something really quick, okay? Okay. I'll take... Oh, oh, I have a good one. How does a geologist stay grateful? He never takes anything for granted. <laughs> yeah. Our sub sent us in here. Our classroom's flooded. Oh! Science in action! I'll be right back, class. Everybody stay put. I just wanted to say, even though it, like, wasn't on purpose, I'm really glad I finally have someone I can talk to about who I'm dating. Evan didn't want me to tell my friends, so it's hard. But I mean, he makes it all worth it. <laughs> Look at this bracelet. He even engraved it. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't worry. I got it. <laughs> Wait a minute. Where'd you get this? Um, 
the guy I'm dating gave it to me? That's interesting, because I have the exact same bracelet from someone named E.M. Oh, well, I'm, I'm sure my Evan would never. Did you say Evan? As in Evan Miller, E.M.? Are you talking to my man? I'm dating Evan Miller. <laughs> More like, are you talking to my man? Uh, I'm dating Evan Miller. You're both delusional because I am. What are you talking about? No, no definitely not. Guys, guys, why don't you ask for four months? He's dating all three of you. Uh, so yesterday I saw Evan in the restaurant with Clarissa, and then he got up and met with Paris outside the restaurant. And later, after I got off work, I went to the coffee shop, and that's when I saw him and Hazel together. You all got the bracelets last night, right? Ah! Are you kidding me? He's literally been playing all of us. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't know what to do. I'm new here, and I didn't want to start problems. No, no. You did the right thing. What are we going to do about Evan? Well, obviously confront him. It's better to have loved and lost than never to have loved it all. Sorry things didn't work out. What the heck is this supposed to mean? It's a quote from Alfred Lord Tennyson. You guys don't read romance novels? They quote him all the time. I'm sorry, I don't get it. Are you are into... Romance and football? Uh, yeah, I know, I'm weird. Anyway, um, what he's trying to say is that he's sad it's over, but glad it happened. <laughs> he must have found out we knew and wanted to end things before we did. I can't believe he didn't even have the decency to say it to our faces. Or send personalized messages. How could he do this to us? I mean, I can't even believe I'm saying that. Us? <laughs> <laughs> Should we, like, key his car or, or smash his windows out or burn his house down? We want revenge, not jail. We need something that'll really punch him in the gut. A taste of his own medicine. He needs to know what it feels like to get his heart broken. If only we knew who he was going to date next. Well, we might not be able to predict the future, but we could create it. Paris, you don't mean... Yes, you, Jade. We'll teach you everything we know to win his heart. <laughs> yeah, he'll never see it coming. A combination of the three of us in one, he'll bite so fast. And then he'll get burned. That's a perfect plan. <laughs> so, what do you say? Obviously, I can't completely ditch the jacket. Think maybe open it up a little bit. No, um... Hey, hey, uh, my name's Evan Miller. I'm part of the school welcome committee. You must be new here. Uh, what's your name, beautiful? Not the best you got. Lame. Great job playing hard to get. I mean, like, you totally broke his ego in half with that line. And that eyebrow raise, I mean, you literally play me better than I play myself. <laughs> Is this better? Mm, definitely a step in the right direction. But you're not quite the destination yet. Uh, well, maybe you can tell me how to get there over dinner on Friday? Dinner? Very bold. 
Not that creative, though. <laughs> Duh. I mean, uh, we don't we don't have to go to dinner. Six p.m. Don't be late. Flowers at school, right? Evan never makes grand gestures so publicly. It's definitely new territory. And he asked me to dinner. <sighs> this is happening even faster than we thought. I can't wait to see the look on his face when you finally just rip his heart out and throw it on the ground and just... Clarissa, I think you're being a little extra. Hey, you made it. I, uh, I sent you a few messages. I'm not sure if you saw them, but... Yeah, I saw them. I just didn't feel like responding. Um, okay. Uh, so, it's, it's a picnic. I figured I'd go back to the basics. Yeah, guess it could be worse. Uh. <laughs> So, you have quite the reputation. You're like the Bachelor High School Edition. Uh, yeah, I know. And, and I hate it. Well, if you hated it, then you wouldn't do things to give you that rep. Like, date three girls at once. I know it probably wasn't the best idea. I just figured dating multiple girls at once was the fastest way to... Fastest way to what? This... This is gonna sound cheesy, but to find true love? <sighs> sort of like a process of elimination kind of thing? Okay, okay. Imagine you're at a restaurant and, and there's 10 burgers on the menu and they all look good, but, but you wanna figure out which one you like the best. So instead of ordering one every time you go, which would take you forever, you order uh, multiple at once. Is this making any sense? Uh... So, basically, you're saying that you think of girls as meat. Ugh. That sounds bad. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna stop talking now and, uh, just play some music. What about Olivia Rodrigo? She's like my all-time favorite artist. Was that a coincidence, or...? I saw your bracelet. Oh. Guts is a part of her merch line, right? I. Yeah. Just noticed because my sister's also a huge fan. Oh, oh. Uh. There's no way you read Jane Austen. Oh, um, yeah, I do. The way she explores ideas of love and class and, and social expectations. Sorry, that probably just made me sound like a total nerd and girly. The fact that you like books does not make you nerdy. And you liking romance doesn't make you girly. Though I would have never pegged you as the reading type. <laughs> that's because I don't talk about it. I mean, a football player that's into romance novels. <laughs> People would think I'm weird. People think I'm weird all the time. To be honest, that's kind of why I moved to cities. Uh, so which authors are your favorite? If you really like romance, you're not just saying... Jane just... Austen, um, Deanna Gabaldon, uh, Nicholas Sparks, I mean, you name it. Okay. <clears throat> I declare, after all, there is no enjoyment like reading. How much sooner one tires of anything than a book. When I have a house of my own, I shall be miserable if, if I, I have, have not, not an, an excellent, excellent library. library. <laughs> you have read Pride and Prejudice. I... Only, like, seven times. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I would love to show you my library. If, if, if you'd like, I... <laughs> I would love that. <clears throat> um, I mean, we'll see. Okay. Uh, I hope you like apples. <laughs> 
Well, I guess I just haven't found that one yet who <laughs> makes me committed work. <laughs> <laughs> wow, he almost sounded believable there. He deserves an Oscar for that act. <laughs> I don't know. He seemed genuine to me. It's like there's something below the surface. Don't fall for it, Jade. He'll make you think he's so sensitive. It's all just a part of his act. Mm -hmm. And even if he had an ounce of sensitivity in him, we'll use that to our advantage. <laughs> yep, and we'll just make him fall harder before Jade breaks his heart. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, next plan. Mm -hmm. Revenge, obviously. Obviously. Period. Expose him. Yeah. Uh, I bought you something. It's jewelry. Oh, great. Not another generic, non personalized gift. That Olivia Rodrigo earrings? I'm not sure if you have these, but it could go with your bracelet. I was actually gonna buy these. Well, and you don't have to. You're a football fan? Oh, yeah, I'm a hardcore Eagles fan. Go birds! <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here. LA Chargers all the way. The Chargers? No, no, the Eagles are top tier. They operate out of shock on 85% of the time. Do the Chargers do that? No. Okay. Okay, um, wow. I, I'm shocked. I, uh, I love football, but most of the girls I date never, never understand the game. Well, I'm not most girls, Evan. I know. You're a weirdo. Like, like me. A weirdo I'd like to get to know a lot better. If, if that's okay with you. self-destructive but I'll be the first to make it work use your hands and control me like a puppet because losing your love right now is worse we can't hope that it all wasn't for nothing but for now I will just wait out in the hall You've exceeded our expectations. Seriously, I haven't even gotten a Letterman jacket and I'm a cheerleader. I know, isn't that so special? <laughs> <laughs> right, special. Just like how he made all of us feel. Look, you got him right where you want him, now it's time to strike. Yes, and this Friday is Evan's birthday and he's having a party, right? That's when you do it. At the party in front of everyone. <laughs> so I was thinking when we get there, we're just, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna swap. Okay, you have you. Wait. Yeah, exactly. Where? No, that, that <laughs> is so smart. Well, <laughs> lovely personality, new dress, full makeup, and expensive perfume. You either made up with John or you have a new date. New date. And he's hot. 54. Silver Fox. Desert Storm Vet. You okay? I don't know. It's just this whole thing with Evan. I haven't been completely honest with him, and I think that I might seriously hurt him. I don't know what to do. Honey, I've dated a lot of men. <laughs> In my time, a lot of men. And one thing I've come to realize is that if it's fake, it's going to go up in flames. So if you care about Evan, then you need to be true to yourself and be true to him. <laughs> Did 
didn't I mention what a great sense of humor he has? He has always got me laughing. <sighs> Don't wait up. Hey, I was just thinking about you. Whoa. Um, you look different. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. I know I look ugly, but... Are you kidding me? I was going to say this is the most beautiful I've ever seen you look. I have no idea why you wear all that makeup all the time when... I mean, look at you. <laughs> Jane, over here. <laughs> okay, so when he comes out, it'll be like the perfect time. Embarrass him in front of everyone. <laughs> I just, I don't know, you guys. This just feels wrong. <laughs> what do you mean it feels wrong? This is the moment we've been waiting for. Yeah, I know, but Evan and I talk on the phone every night until we fall asleep. We watch football together. We even like the same books. Plus, I'm not a secret like you guys were. Oh my gosh. You're falling for him. Look, I know what he did to you guys, and it was messed up. But I think that we might have something real here. I just want to give him a chance. Can I at least do that? I mean, isn't that the whole point? For him to change and be a better person? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> no, this is about revenge, Jade. You knew that when you signed on. Yeah, Evan wouldn't even know who you are if it wasn't for us. Yeah, I know. And I feel horrible. But I can't do this. I'm sorry. <sighs> you think you're special, Jade? But you're not. He is never gonna claim you as his girlfriend. What do we do now? Well, the only thing that we can do. Luckily, Jade texts us this. Hey! Hey, I thought you weren't gonna wear all that makeup anymore. Look, Evan, there's something I have to get off my chest. Before you say anything else, um, look, I decided to post you on my Instagram to show the whole world that we're together. <laughs> I, I hope that's okay. <laughs> but wait, there was something that you wanted to tell me? All right, everyone listen up. We have a special birthday shout out to our boy from his favorite three people. Paris, Clarissa, and Hazel. Um. Bet you didn't expect to see the three of us together, did you, Evan? And don't even try to hit us with any excuses. We all know you played us. You want to know who you can thank for this? Your new little flame, Jade. Hit it. I don't know. I guess I just haven't found that one yet who, who makes being committed worth it. You recorded our date? Evan, I can explain. You see, Jade was all a part of our plan to get back at you for cheating on us. Tied her up with a nice little bow and gave her right to you. Told her how to dress, act, everything. Only so she could break your heart. So it's just a little play, Evan. Just like how you played us. It was all an act? After everything we shared, the books, football, I, I thought that this was real, Jade. It is real, Evan, I swear. It was a really good time in there, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, oh, check who that is. Wow, the fall of Evan Miller. I thought I'd never see the day. Can you guys just stop? You've already made your point. <laughs> Please, you've probably moved on to your next victims by now. Look, I know I messed up. And what I did to you guys is so wrong. It took me meeting Jade to see that. And um, I'm sorry. I am I'm sorry. And there's no excuse. But with Jade, uh, I've never felt like this before. She challenges me. And she pushes me to be better. And um, she holds me accountable. And, and she makes me laugh and cry 
I feel all these things that, that I've always tried to avoid, and I don't want to anymore. When I'm with Jade, I'm the best version of myself. And I know this is karma for what I did to you guys. And I'm sorry. I would do anything to get Jade back. I love her. I love her. I'm sorry. Hey, can we talk? Evan, I am so sorry I wasn't honest with you. I did agree to help your exes, but once we started having a connection, I told them that I couldn't do it anymore. And I tried to make it right. But, Jade. And I understand if you hate me, but my mom taught me that you have to be true to yourself if I want this to work, so that's what I'm trying to do. I just Jade, I, I know. It's okay. Wait, what? <sighs> that's why I came to talk to you. Clarissa, Paris, and Hazel told me everything how much you really care about me and how you wanted to do the right thing in the end and protect me. Even though we really didn't want to, we thought about what you said and Evan changing was more important than getting revenge. It's sad we didn't get to experience the new and improved him, but at least someone else does. <laughs> for a while. I wasn't, but then I decided I wanted to introduce you. Meet my new boyfriend. Mr. Mr. Baker? Hey. You're dating my earth science teacher? Mm-hmm. And I have never laughed more in my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, tell him that joke you just told me. Oh, oh, oh. Why did the biologist break up with the physicist? Because there was no chemistry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. <laughs> um, you and your mom have a lot in common. You both like weirdos. 